Hello, um, this is Mr. Smiles. So, um, the title of this video is How to Use Film Cameras. Now, interesting to ask, um, people tend to use digital more in today's days with our smartphones, um, but there used to be a time for a very long period of time, for about 150 years, where people use cameras where they had in the back, which we call film, and the camera lens would shoot in light and the paper was very, very, very sensitive and would basically put an image um, onto the film paper. And then you take the film paper, put it in a special type of room, and it would develop. So that's how film was. Um, and that how, that's how it always was, until they were able to make a digital process of that um, later on in the 90s. And that was the digital age, and it brought on smartphones and cameras to the phones. So the difference between a digital and a... Um, Film camera is digital. You could take as many photos as you want, and you have no problem. But with these, you have two options, depending on which type of film you're using. The 35 millimeter, which is the most popular. There, the other one is 120, which it was a little bit more popular, but was very expensive at the time. Um, you could still get 120 for like $12. It's not that expensive. So this camera came with 35 millimeter and it can only be exposed to 24 exposures or 36. So you can only take 30, 36 photographs with each roll of film or 24. Um, so many companies still make film, which is usually 24. 36 is a little bit more expensive. Um, this camera, which is amazing for um, film cameras if you want to get into the film camera industry or use a film camera I'm sorry um, is this camera is actually automatic this is the Nikon FG it was a mid-range camera for guys like me that you know don't really have too much money you know you just want a nice camera that's like back then was like fifty sixty dollars and this was the camera of its day uh, the Nikon FG was released in 1980 and it has an automatic, um, you can do, as you can see, you can do the shutters, um, you can do shutter speed, you know, um, but you have an option to do automatic, which it automatically picks how fast should the shutter be opened, so it does automatic. Um, you have also, this is great with these cameras, because Nikon developed this tripod looking thing, I don't know the name of it, it allowed people to put on any type of straps you can possibly think of. So you can go on to a store like this one, this is from Star Wars, go to any store you want, you could put on any strap you want and it will fit with no problem. So this is a really, really good plus you can put on and make it very customizable to your liking. So um, three things you should know about film cameras. Uh, there are three different types. There were the ones that fit very nicely tight, which are usually the cheaper cameras more heavier ones which were a little bit more money they have a lot more features a third thing you should know is that some cameras you have to be careful because I will show, show you why film cameras they have mirrors inside that project to see what your picture you're taking if any of these mirrors are damaged you will not get an image it will not come through so I recommend going to B&H or going to a camera store do not buy on eBay I know the deals look great do not buy you have to go to a authorized dealer that specializes in cameras um, I know this from experience if you want to be smart you gotta to go to somebody that knows how to work with cameras don't start buying on eBay I don't care if it's you have to pay an extra 200 bucks for a camera guys it's not worth it. It really is not worth it. So, the way the, the camera works, I'm going to show you basically how it works. To take a picture, you have to pull it out. This is what they call cocking. Not trying to be explicit. Um, and what you would do is, you'd press, this is the, um, we'll just call it, we'll just call it the clicker. I don't remember what it's called. I know it's there's a word for it, but I'm going to call it the clicker. This is to take the picture. You hear that little sound. Um, there's really no... 
there's nothing in here. I'm just going to put it on M90. And by the way, I'm going to show you something in a second. So once you do that, you just pull it back. It pulls on to the next roll of film. So that's how that works. If you ever want to use it automatically, you just choose 60th um, is usually the most common. So it's in red. And um, you just snap the photo. Same process. Um, here's a little different. If you put in film and it's a... 800 film or 400, you have to put it, uh, you have to move the ring, move it to 800 if you're using 800 film, move it to 400 if you're using 400 film, otherwise it will not get processed or developed. Um, another thing is, this is the um, light ring. I don't exactly know how to use it, um, but it's there. Um, the lens on here is called a cupcake lens. I have another lens which is a zoom lens for this. So they come in a variety of lenses. Um, but this is a zoom lens, okay? So, not zoom, sorry, this is a uh, cupcake lens. Cupcake lens uh, basically is really nice because it is extremely compact. It's not that thick. It fits great in backpacks. It has a great lens. And, I mean, it has 1.8 aperture to 22, which is good. I mean, 22 is good to have on a camera. Um, it has an infinity, which is great to have. Uh, you can constantly focus. So this is a really, 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 really good lens. Uh, Nikon, I love their lenses. Uh, they really have done a very good job over the years. This uses a three-pin connector. So I'm going to show you in a second what that means. Um, early on, film cameras, when you would want to use flash, I have another camera that has the same problem. It is very, very different than this. You would have to latch or click on something here. Um, I'd show you in a second, but this one, all you have to do is just take, I have a regular Vivitar over here. You just latch it on on the top, as you can see. You just pull it down. It's a little hard to see with the camera. Let's see if we can... Get a little, you see over there, and then you have all your settings, and then you just tighten it, press the power button, and you should see ready to test, and it's all good to go. So this just uses the connection with the battery on the bottom, so you can use it. So this is pretty much, you don't need any cables. Um, so that's really good about this. So another feature is, if you want to take a selfie, you can take a selfie with this camera. Um, you just pull down the knob and it will allow you to have a timer which would allow you to take pictures. On the bottom over here there are a bunch of accessories. This was actually for fast motion pictures. You click on a piece. I don't know if they still sell them. You click on a piece and it basically allows if you're taking a picture of somebody going very fast it would allow the camera to expl literally make that picture into a still. So you'd I have a still picture, let's say you're taking pictures of somebody on a roller coaster. It wouldn't look blurry, it would look like an actual picture. So it has a stand for tripod, which is compatible with all tripods. Um, if you don't know that, um, all cameras to this day fit on any tripod, except cameras from the 1800s. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, if you want to know, you can ask me in the comment section below and I will tell you. Um, or I can give you a link. I have an bunch of links to uh, if you want you're curious this is actually a knob you have to pull it all the way in when you're rolling up film um, this is very very important when you're rolling up film you have to watch what I'm doing you pull this down do not just watch just pull that down okay now you pull this little knob up now on a second this little arrow over here all you have to do is just take this this little nice little knob thing. Now you see how the arrow is showing? Wherever the arrow is pointing, that's where you turn. Now you should feel like a little tight. And because I don't have any film in here, but you eventually you're going to start spinning. You hear something spinning. And then finally you're going to hear a click. And then once you let go, it's going to twirl a little bit. That means that the film is done. You're going to basically then open it, pull out the film, put it back in your cartridge so it doesn't get ruined. Um because if you leave your cartridge out, it could get, um, it could discolor um, if it's in a canister. Uh, so that's the thing. Also, you have a nice, uh, this is a really nice, I like that it's a very big size. If you look at some of the cameras of its day, 
it was pretty um, pretty small. So um, now, if for example, let me just show you something. Let's just say you want to take a picture. Um, so to take a picture, you have two ways. You either do which is landscape or portrait. You could do either way. If you do this way, the picture will come out portrait. If you do this way, it'll come out landscape. You pull the piece out over here. Um, you make sure it's on automatic. You change your aperture, since there's a lot of light, we're going to put it on 1.8. You press the shutter button. I just remembered it's called a shutter button. You press the shutter button. Um, little problem. Now let's just say this happens and it's not working. So uh, there's no film in here. But you do is you press this little knob on the top. You hold it down until you get out of automatic. Now you could just let go if you're in a thousand. You just turn all the way until you reach M90. What M90 does is it basically it's a manual override. So if any if the camera's not responding, you pull it all the way to M90 and it will override and it will um, open up the finder and you can just cock it and that's it. You're done. So let me show you quickly. So let's finish up this video. Let me put this camera to the side. This is a Minolta SRT101. If anybody wants me to do a video about this, I can. This camera was released in 1967. This one was, the other camera was 1980. I have a video about it if you want to watch that one. Um, this camera is a non-automatic. It is completely um, manual. Uh, you can see it has the shutter. Over here is a little different. You have to pull up to change the, uh, the type of fil um, film you're using for the light. Um, you just press it and you just pull just like that simple this camera however if for example you want to take um, a flash on it you have to do this exact same thing so you see this cord over here now you cannot buy these cords I, I learned this out the hard way these actually come with the flash themselves not where it says the X where it says FP you plug that in and once you plug that in it basically is a connector that allows you to take the flash. As you can see, the flash is now completely connected. So that's how this camera works. Uh, my camera does not have that. So that's another thing you should know. Not all film cameras. You should check, by the way, because let me just show you something on the top. If you want, for example, a film camera that has flash and you're not very new to this world, uh, you should always check on the top. If there is no knobs, like on this one, as you can see, there's three, and there's, this is actually a uh, strip for the uh, for the connection. If there's nothing here, that means that there's something on the side that you have to plug in. They're very hard to find. You can try online, but they're pretty pricey sometimes, or they can be cheap. I really don't know exactly. I haven't really checked them up, but you really should stay away from these types of cameras. This is a great camera. I actually got this. I'm very lucky uh, for $8. It's a great one um, by Goodwill, really helping out chatter charity. Um, so these pretty much, yeah, so these pretty much are two cameras of their day. I mean, this camera was an automatic camera, which is great to have. It's compact. This one's a little heavy, a little bit more you know, a little bit more grip, but it really depends what you want. If you want more of an automatic camera, this is better. If you want more of a manual camera, this is better. It really, really, really depends on your taste. So, I hope you guys like this video. Please comment and please subscribe. Um, and always remember, keep on smiling. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Really appreciate it. Um, I hope you give a thumbs up. Um, I have videos every single Sunday. My name is Mr. Smiles and this is my YouTube channel. So this is one of my first videos on how to use film cameras. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Um, if you do, please leave comments. I really want to know um, how you like these videos. So remember guys, keep on smiling.